This is the Business Leadership Series Minute with your host, the best-selling author of Don't Buy a Duck and founder of MarketingStrategyHero.com, Derek Champagne. Very excited today to have my friend on, Arthur Theotis Matthews, JD, Dr. Arthur Matthews, a university lecturer at institutions such as NYU, the University of Arkansas, light of things happening in the world right now, and we'll, we'll go into detail, but um, I would say this is a time to say, uh, Houston, we have a, have a Strauss. That's right. Right. So in, in light right. of in light of the increased conflict from police bias towards black and brown Americans, I want to get your take on it. What's your lens and optics of these events? You've you've been a prosecutor. You've been an activist. You have been a leader, a collaborative leader. You've seen it from so many different angles, not just from I one do. side. That's incredible That's right. to me is and your wife's been a police officer. I mean, all the way around you, your family, you as leaders have seen this from just about every side that it can be seen from. So I can't think of someone more qualified to give a perspective on this because again, Houston, we have a stress. So we do. And and thank you, Derek, for that. Here's the thing, you know, being that I am in my early sixties, you know, I remember growing up as a kid and, you know, hearing about stories of Emmett Till, I was young enough to remember Uh, when John F. Kennedy got assassinated in 63, and then Malcolm X and Martin Luther King Jr. And there were so many leaders. And I just uh, felt then that there was this wave of just activism that I really appreciated, but I was really young. But I knew that, you know, in my household, I had these activists who were union members. One for New York City, which was my grandmother, Mimi, and my mother and grandmother, you know, Nana, which is my other grandmother, uh, was a member of the 1199 Healthcare Workers Union. And so that was the favorite union of Martin Luther King Jr. So for me, uh, you know, first of all, number one, I'm disturbed. I'm disturbed by the events. And that's why Evelyn and I have convened with a non for profit I am affiliated with. I'm on the board of advisors. It's the Florence Belsky Foundation. My buddy Dan Snyder, I want to give him a shout out. And what we have tried to do in the last month, we've convened town hall meetings on Zoom to really just have a conversation with a number of stakeholders. And and here's the thing, Uh, I am just mortified when I hear stories that sometimes you don't hear about Breonna Taylor and you don't hear about the George Floyds. Of course, the difference today, and and again, you know, my condolences to all those families out there, is that now everybody has a mechanism for what I call is demonstrative evidence. And that is an iPhone, an iPad, a smartphone, where they record these events. And I think the thing is this, uh, not all police are bad, we know that, you've heard that, it's cliche at this point. But here's my thing, Derek, and, and and again, yes, looking at it from a lot of different perspectives, there has to be, uh, and I just say it very simply, when we look at these thousands and thousands of police departments, some need to be tweaked, others they need to detonate, implode, vaporize, and eviscerate. Because we need to get to what are the real deep-rooted issues that are happening today uh, in police departments. And then we've got to do a better job of communicating with each other about what's really important, particularly to black and brown individuals. You know, are we still being marginalized? Yes. Are we still being, as Malcolm X said, bamboozled and hoodwinked? Yes. So one thing that really gives me a lot of pride is that my partner, Evelyn, and I, we actually are mediators. And so these are the kind of crucial conversations that we love to mediate because there are so many stakeholders at the table.